Hello, Londoner, New Hampshire. My name is Katie Sullivan. I am happy to be here for the Thanks in October Lancer Nation edition. It's sponsored by our Silver Lancer Studio students who are amazing. I'm gonna bring you tons of things in this edition. Uh, September and October have been a great start to the school year, and we're gonna kick off this edition with Miss LeChavo, who's going to be talking about Haunted Woods, which is a favorite of many people in this town, the annual event Haunted Woods. So let's hear from Miss LeChavo and everything about Haunted Woods. <laughs> Okay, we're back at the October Lancer Nation show and we couldn't leave without a segment about the Haunted Woods. And I'm very pleased to say with me is Miss LeChavo. Hello, Miss LeChavo. Hi, Miss Sullivan. How are you today? Good. Good. Tell our viewers, um, how many years has Haunted Woods been going on? Wow, Haunted Woods has been going on for about 15, 20 years now. And it one time was in a haunted house at the old YMCA. And then we moved it to high school. And then now it's on the town comp. I love it. And we got to give a shout out to the town for letting us use the town common because it is a great community event. Yes. I'm sure everybody in town has attended, but if they haven't attended, what exactly is Haunted Woods? So Haunted Woods is like an outdoor haunted house. We have it in the town forest, in the town woods, and we have different skits set up. We have different students that are scarers that are randomly pop out and try to scare our guests. We also have a goblin garden for the little ones where we do arts and crafts and different games. We win prizes. We have a Haunted Woods band that plays on the stage. And also the Haunted Woods can be attended by the little ones. There's like a not so scary light that they can wear. I love that. Thank you. And I think um, I've been going for years, big supporter of the drama club and the band who's on the, on the stage and all the volunteers that help out with you from the Goblin Garden to that. But is it a cool experience that the seniors get to be the tour guides at the Haunted Woods? So this year we made the tour guides only seniors. Sometimes there's some other upperclassmen. So I think it's something that they look forward to doing. A lot of students like to be tour guides, but it's great for them to also experience other roles so they can talk a little bit more about it as a tour guide. I love that. And the house band, they rocked it this, this time. Tell us a little bit about who, who gets to do that. So a few years ago, uh, Joey Keane, one of our seniors that graduated last year, had asked if they can have live music instead of just recordings, and we had started that the first year. So um, his brother Jason Keane helped to arrange a few uh, scary type songs like Monster Mash, and so they did those songs and like Thriller, and um, this year James Dooley and Dylan Anderson helped to organize the group. I, I love that. We said it over and over again how much our Lancers give back in this Haunted Woods. Plus the advisors of Mr. Chavo, and who else helps you with it? So Mr. Barrett is also an advisor, Mr. Payer, and Mr. O'Connor. I love it, and they were there giving their time to get, have one of the best community events ever. Should we do a plug? Because this is a fundraiser kind of for the drama. Do you want to do a plug for the drama? And what is, is it out there what the drama is doing this year? So it is out there. We are doing Footloose this year as our musical. And we have an informational meeting on Wednesday, October 30th. If anyone would like to come after school at 2.15. Not sure which room yet, but I think it'll be in the choir room in room 318. I love that. Uh, big shout out to Miss Chavo and all the uh, adults that help out with Haunted Woods. It's one of our greatest things that we do here in the school and community. Very spooky night. Shout out to Wendy and Tinkerbell who are my tour guides. They were amazing. Any last words, Miss Chavo? We just want to thank the community for attending the event, for making it a successful fundraiser, and for the students for helping out to make everything amazing, as well as their family members that also come and volunteer their time. Haunted Woods, you rock. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. And now, a message from our Athletic Leadership Council. ALC's mission is to leave a legacy demonstrating a culture of selflessness, integrity, growth, and a commitment to building strong relationships within the Londonderry community. This is our creed. 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 I will conduct myself with honor for my community. I am determined and spirited. I am honest and trustworthy. And responsible for my actions. I will work hard to strengthen and lead my peers. I will honor the life of a Lancer with pride. My love for Lancer Nation will inspire me to live by this creed. We are Lancers!
Lancer Nation, have you been to a unified sports game lately? If you haven't, you should, because playoffs will be starting soon. They are an incredible team led by the outstanding coach, Miss Ashley Tebbets. Today, we're lucky enough to have Logan interview Miss Tebbets and tell you all about our unified soccer team. Logan, take it away. So my name is Ashley Tebbets and I'm the unified soccer coach. I think our season is going great. We've welcomed a ton of new athletes to our team and new helpers. I think we've played some competitive teams and I think that we're starting to see ourselves go on this towards playoffs, going on our victory run leading into the playoffs, which is the perfect time for our team to peak. I'm glad to hear that. How, what is the most important game? I think that upcoming, the most important game for us is going to be competitive important or important to our team. Hey. I think that the senior game coming up on Thursday is an important game to our team. Whenever it's a senior night and it's the last guaranteed night on the home field, there's always a lot of emotion associated with that. We've had some helpers and some athletes who've been with us for a long time. So knowing that we might not be back on that field again together, that's a really important game emotionally. How does the team interact? So I think that everyone is super chatty. I think that you see that in the beginning of our practices when they start. People are hanging out, spending time. There's 39 of them. So 39 of you players on the team together. So I think that there's a lot of room for you to all form your own friendships within the team, that you spend time with people outside of the team. And I think that having a big group allows for many friendships to be created. How long has this program been going on? So this is the 11th year of soccer being here, which means we're coming up on basketball was the first one to ever start. So basketball will be in its 12th year. So basketball started, then track, and then soccer joined the following year. So we're one year behind the other sports. How does the team communicate? So I'd love for you all to communicate more on the field, when you're open, when you're gonna cross, where you are. But I think socially, when we go out to dinner and when we enjoy hanging out as a team, I think that we communicate very effectively. What is the most, who made the most improvement? This season so far? Yeah. I think that you always, lean on that new class of brand new athletes that have joined us. I think that that is their first experience joining our team. So I think that the incoming class, I'm not going to call them freshmen because some it's their freshman year, but they're sophomores because they just didn't play for us last year. So I think that our Sam. new athletes, I think that it's been a good year for them to get used to our team and what we do. Who have the biggest spirit on the team? This was big shoes to fill. We had a alumni student who left who had a lot of energy. I think that between you leading cheers and Noah leading cheers and Marquis always having some positivity, I think that it, it wouldn't just work with one. I think that there's a collective group of leadership, yeah, yourself included. Yeah, lost one of the biggest people. I like lost Brandon last year. Yeah, Brandon's energy was a lot, but I think that the three of you have really stepped up to kind of fill in that role. Um, and it took three layers of energy to fill in Brandon's um, shoes when he left. How was the past years? So the pa every year is always unique and different. Our playoff run last year was so much fun. We had no idea that we were going to be in the championship game last so year. The other games. Yeah, and then we came back and we were in pursuit in that championship. We only lost three to one. So I think that every year is like a reset. We never know what the year is going to come, and every year is totally different. How many games we were won? in the previous years? Oh my goodness, I don't know if I know that data point. 
at all, I would have to go back for it. But our our seasons range between winning four out of our six games, five out of our six games, six games. Sometimes we only have one out of our six games. What's nice is that we're in the playoff run no matter what. You are? Yeah. Because uh, because National North, National Soul. Yeah, so we're all in. So no matter what, we're all in pursuit of it. Just like last year, that happened to we us. We lost some big helpers last year. We year. did, but we got we got helpers to fill those <laughs> shoes. So I think that we could be there again. How has the team grown and changed over this year, over the years? So I think that after we went out to dinner last week, we went to Durham and then we went to oh, yeah. the Beach Plum. When I was watching everyone with their groups out to dinner. That process of going out to dinner with a group of 39 seemed so effortless on Thursday night. And that shows that our team is growing up and becoming more independent and becoming more self-sufficient and is socially in a great spot. And um, that's all you can ask. So I think that we I've definitely seen um, growth in us just getting older and being more independent, which is such a great skill from sports. Thank you. That's all we have for time. For Thank today. you so much. One thing that I love about Lundari High School is we have so many students who have musical talents that I do not have at all. I'm so excited that we're going to have next a wonderful performance by Vanessa McDonald and Kaya Batson. They're going to be performing a song that I can't even say, but they're going to say it for you and it's going to be beautiful. So enjoy. I
before we end today's Things in October show, I do want to say some incredible things are coming up in November. Let me get my list out. So far, we're going to have playoffs coming up in November. Hopefully, we'll see all our teams go far in the playoffs, and we encourage all the students to come out and support the teams. We're going to have the annual craft fair ran by our student council. Election day is coming up. If you're 18 and older, make sure you get out and vote. Veterans Breakfast is coming up. We want to thank all our local veterans for their service, and we want to invite all of them to our annual Veterans Breakfast that we have every year. We'll have Parent Night that the students love so much when their parents come in and talk to their teachers all about them. We'll be helping the London and Lions with some Christmas trees and so much more. So stay tuned for more exciting things in November. And again, a big thank you to our Silver Lancer Studio students for helping me with this episode of Lancer Nation, and we'll see you in November. Take care. <laughs>